Hey guys, my name is Robert Nelson. In this video, we're going to talk about the overarching theme of compassion. But in addition to that, we're gonna we're gonna go into a very strong channel message that I've posted quite a bit the last couple of days. And first and foremost, I want to remind everyone that um, you know we only see the world through our level of perception in this human incarnation. So as we came into this paradigm we came in uh not only through the veil of forgetfulness but we came in as uh, unity consciousness then uh or source uh having a human experience and in that process came the defragmentation of remembrance but the second part to that is that then man has distorted uh a lot of these ancient wisdom right and universal truths and that aspects of remembrance and they've hijacked it for their own uh, power and narrative. And so first and foremost, with the original statement that we open with that we only see the world through our level of perception, we can begin to understand the way that in this realm of duality, we have become polarized by uh, orchestrations of institutions that have made it a point to systemically and perpetuate and perpetually keep us from remembrance by not only defragmenting us but causing further division and so i want to start first and foremost with this with the religious institutions and so we have to think no matter what source you believe in we all come from the same source universe frequency at for this video theology um or, or frequency are interchangeable because the point will be universal. And that is God uh, or source, however you want to call it. Um, the, the What has depicted in this paradigm has been man making God in its image. And so with that, it projects it on to source because they were again, not only seeing from their own level of perception, but they were drawing from what really deeply resonates with them during that time. And so they made source in their image, which was very divisive, very misogynist, very um, vengeful and all of those things. But if we actually think of terms of frequency or, or philosophy, we can begin to understand that uh, we know that love is the highest vibrational resonance. So with that, you know, what does it say about the light if it's always going to be fear? Um, and, and to some degree, at what at what point did those lower vibrations by their own free will and accord decide to become lower vibrations? And do we really believe that the darkness does not know that unconditional love will beat it and it's it's ultimately going to have to return to unity consciousness right and so um something that we all understand are archetypes because as i always say the humans have three photoreceptors shrimp have 16 so we cannot see gamma rays x-rays etc right you guys always hear me say that but uh with that angelic beings and quote-unquote demonic beings are depicted in churches and literature and movies and what have you along with everything else that has been orchestrated to keep us separated um as uh the boogeyman right but thinking of, of it in terms of frequency at, at what and understanding that those uh archetypes or, or fixtures or characters are um the the matrix depiction uh, of our interpretation of those frequencies right um if, if so, so uh, at what point then if we take a classic archetype like i posted earlier like a figure like the devil for example who is uh, uh, the king of daddy issues and the prince of abandonment trauma at what point then um does they receive their compassion to integrate into the darkness uh, or, to, or a, 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 and to move away from the darkness? And at what point does they receive the compassion to integrate back into the light? And what I'm trying to say is, do we really believe that they don't know or that it doesn't know that um, love always wins and that is a higher frequency? And if so, then why would 
it not integrate with it and my point is i think it's clear if uh, at this point is that if the darkness did not by its own free will and accord decide to become the darkness at that point it's being bullied by source so what does it say that we live in a society or we have lived up until this point in a society that depicts um it's god as uh, the inception of separation right the inception of abandonment the inception of disintegration um a bullying right it abandoned all of those things here's my point if the darkness not by its own free will accord decides or choose to be the darkness then it's being bullied right so what does it say about that being something that we have glorified up to this point the second point of that that i'm trying to make is that it's more more likely than not that the shadow side or the darkness um loves us just as much because what kind of sacrifice is it to relinquish love and to be devout of love to for whatever reason right uh, and for how long and so part of the message is that as we anchor heaven on earth at what time uh, and uh, as we are source rediscovering itself through this human experience at what point is it our executive decision to say that we integrate with the shadow aspects of us that are depicted in the, in these characters and then also integrate ourselves back by doing our healing work and to finally uh releasing them from their bondage right because it seems as though the darkness is a very extension of source that defragmented from the most powerful resonance and power into um separation for us to return to discernment and, and so for that reason it could be said that it loves us just as much or it is as well the act of sacrifice um and so with that if we are a, and we are a unity consciousness we are the human condition that came into this world to go back to remembrance do we by the power invested in us as source for discovering itself through this human experience spare and transmute the darkness and i don't need, i don't mean like uh, banishing it from ourselves right i think that's easy uh you know the, as you do shadow work but also um allow to integrate back into the light and, and and we do so by ourselves integrating back so that that level of division is no longer separated if we are anchoring him on earth inevitably then the equal and opposite must be true where those lower vibrational frequencies will no longer uh have to be in that state to play the role and to integrate back and so um something that i got really strongly yesterday was that you know uh, these religious institutions took the the most vulnerable aspects of humanity um the abandonment issues the uh, uh daddy issues the uh, which you know father figure issues uh the the things that vibrate at the deepest levels in humanity and they turn it against their own against humanity's own vulnerability and polarized it for the intention of their own power and for the intention of having those people uh dependent on the institution right for control and you know it's really it's really sad if you think about it like a figure like the devil right i mean if you think about a theology and, and you know kind of going back to something i said earlier about imagination and you know if you can imagine it um it's real because as you put it out into the world it becomes um it solidifies right and then people can tap into the energy that the person had the moment that the inception of the thought came into their mind right and so 
the enemy of creation is destruction and that's what these institutions have been doing is separating us dividing us and distracting us and then turning our shadows against us and then polarizing us within ourselves and um and in doing so uh, giving life to the those darker vibrational states of being uh, by by really anchor them and anchoring them into reality um and polarizing the people it it it, it created a state of cognitive dissonance where where control was then at that point um able to be done and so with that think about how sad it is i mean if you think about the archetype of of the devil right which is the, the most draconian i think um in, in all philosophy and religious doctrine um he so notice this he asked um or question so much of the and again this is a man-made depiction of god um but basically questioned um the authority in a lot of ways that almost like going back to remember it's like why are we here right like asking the right question and how villainized it has been to ask the right question or to ask any questions at all by most institutions but and in in that he he was casted for doing so um to hell right and so what does it say going back to the beginning what does it say about us that we believe um and worship a god that would do that um you know that's not holding space that's not compassion that's not that's not the god that i resonate with and it's, not, it's certainly not the one i want to go to um ever and so uh, it's a mirror of where humanity was at that point and as we are moving now into this next density and we are becoming the change that we want to see and, and we are um source for discovering itself through this human experience uh, i i think it's it's collectively time to acknowledge the polarization that has happened within us and, and acknowledging it um we can put a name to the vibrational resonance that it embodies in doing so we can understand where it comes from and then transmute it and then heal it within ourselves and then lift it and in doing so lifting the entire imprisonment of the darker vibrations um because by our own free will and accord we choose to we choose to move to a world where this amount of suffering suffering is no longer required right we choose to uh, not accept that's a reality and we choose to collectively stand against those vibrations and by understanding that which polarized us by by calling it forth and then by transmuting the shadow within ourselves because the only way to really even go back to remembrance is to really be able to have compassion um and see the the pain behind a lot of what these people do right for better or for worse and going through those own experiences uh, by our own free will and accord by whatever lifetime if we so choose to we are the human condition right by the power of empathy we when something happens we can all relate have a reaction or what have you um and it's um it's sad it's sad that um we've polarized the emotions within ourselves to such degree and, and um and i think in 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 deciding collectively um and individually by the power invested in us to heal that aspect of ourselves we can effectively transmute um the uh, intensity and the charge of those polarities and in doing so releasing them back and letting them go back into the light because it's only polarized i mean i think it's safe to say it's only polarized because it's um either i mean no matter which way you see it it's it's not good right either it was it was banished right and what does that say about this god that um people have been following and or um it does love us just as much to um go through the aspect of uh being devoid of love um 
and that actually being the ultimate sacrifice um, for our journey to remembrance, right? Um, if it came from the unity consciousness and then split uh, in doing so. Either way, it goes back to one. And, um, and then really seeing these uh, vibrational states of consciousness that have been uh, imposed on us really, um, you know, change and transmute, whether it's calling whatever it is, um, Baphomet and, and picturing it turning into a unicorn in love, right, over and over again or whatever. But um, at some point, I, I think um, we should exonerate the role it plays in our level of discernments by coming into our own power and then um, releasing its um, need for it to be there and and finally letting it integrate back into the light um so that's it guys um i hope this video was helpful i don't know um i mean when it comes it just comes and and how it resonates and the way it resonates um it's always for the intention of of returning to one right for the greater good of all first and um yeah have compassion for you know it's interesting because it's somewhere in in between as we ascend to a community consciousness uh moving from personal responsibility into being personally responsible but also understanding that um what we are collectively what we collectively do um if we collectively neglect a single person the actions of the person that stem from that um, neglect will very much um impact the entire collective as you can hear and so it's 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 a it's an interesting um i mean just when I, every time i just when i think like it can't get any deeper or or um complex it does but it also it, it also gets more simple um so with that said um yeah i mean uh the the figure of the of the devil is the embodiment of of a lot of the triggers that are deep rooted in our society that have been made to polarize um to to not integrate in a female form um you know from the devil being the the you know the king of daddy issues and the prince of uh, abandonment trauma and the female one being the queen of enmeshment uh you know mistress of entitlement and and princess of attachment um those are all frequencies that exist within each and every one of us and, and as we heal them then we allow those frequencies to release them and let them integrate back so with that said love and light and i will see you guys next time